Hello everyone, it's Anzika here. I have a set of Christmas cards to share with you today. And I will be using dies from scrapbook.com along with pattern papers from Prima Marketing. It's called the Sugar Cookie Christmas Collection, I believe. And I will have everything linked down below. So if I forget to name, you can always find the list of products that I used below the video. So I'm using two dies from Scrapper.com. The first one uses the uh, Merry Christmas Sentiment die set. And then on the second card, I'll be using a snowflake die. Now I'm just cutting down the pattern paper so that it fits a standard size card front. And I'm actually going to die cut that so there is a slightly smaller rectangle than the card base and that way I get a bit of framing for the uh, well the card <laughs> and I'm using foam tape to add a bit of dimension to the card because these cards are rather clean and simple so why not add a bit of dimension I'm using the one inch tape and this is the quarter inch tape. Uh, the reason I'm using both is just to show you that it doesn't matter the width of your foam tape as long as you just cover it nicely enough so that it doesn't create an empty space anywhere, you are good to go. Now, what I have to do now is stick this to the uh, card front and I'm just eyeballing it so that it is centered-ish also. And here I noticed that I have a bit more gap on the side, but I fixed that. I just trimmed that little bit off using my lar larger Tim Holtz trimmer. And that made everything look a wee bit better. Now I'm just grabbing two colors of Nouveau drops or the glitter drops that I plan to use and keep them in this little box from scrap.com and all my tiny rulers on top so an easy to reach. Now the sentiment, I want to use this beautiful pink mirror card cardstock from Tonic Studios and I'm basically die cutting the sentiment and I'm using the mint tape to hold it down. Now I don't want the sentiment to be too flimsy. So after I've cut the uh, shiny cardstock out uh, using my Big Shot machine, I also die cut two or two more sentiments from white cardstock. Now I do that to be able to stack these together and by doing that my sentiment is a little bit thicker and therefore not as flimsy as it would be if it were only one layer. One layer of course works but I just wanted to create a little bit more dimension to the sentiment and this is a great way to do so by just using your leftover white cardstock and stack these together. And I'm using the uh, smart glue for that. That's a really tacky glue, keeps these things stuck together. And I find it quite handy to use a little tweezer just to help me figure out to get the best position possible. And then I just use my fingers to get it as nice as possible. And now I'm adding basically a third layer of the sentiment and that is the uh, pink mirror card stock that gets on the front. And there is a bit too much glue there so I'm just dabbing these things off with my finger because I don't want things to ooze out everywhere. And like I said, just use my fingers to make sure that things fit as nicely as they can. And 
and I do that with both words Merry and Christmas. Now I wanted to create a bit of a backdrop for the sentiment so I die cut a piece of vellum that I had on hand just a regular circle and then I'm gonna be sticking the sentiment to the uh, well centered ish or meaning that the uh, word Christmas goes a bit outside the circle either way and then just putting Mary on top looks all right and then I just stick the word Mary above and since I'm using vellum I don't want the adhesive to show through when I've stuck the uh, sentiment on the circle itself so I'll just be adding liquid glue on the back side where the sentiment already is so that way I am able to hide the adhesive really and it won't be showing through that piece of vellum and all I have to do now is stick that to the uh, card front and I really like using clear blocks to add a bit of pressure so that my fingers don't get all sticky with the glue and that's the sentiment ready and now I noticed I completely forgot to say the dot over the eye for Christmas but no worries I will be adding that dot using Novo Drops and I will just place a sparkly dot over the eye and I fixed it and now I'm using the uh, clear one it's called white blizzard I believe and I'm adding a bit of glitter to those Christmas bubbles there here and there and then where I noticed that there were like a white frosting on those Christmas cookies I decided to add a bit of sparkliness with the uh, white blizzard glitter drops and I'm just following the image as it is and adding sparkliness to those white frostings and those small little round thingies I think they are what they use to decorate cookies with I believe but they were round and I thought why not have them shiny pretty stuff so I'm just adding a bit of sparkliness to the background to really frame the uh, sentiment of the card and that's basically all I did for this first card now for my second card I'm using the same pattern paper collection just another paper as the background and this time I am using the uh, snowflake die from scrapbook.com and I am using the same method as I did with the uh, sentiment on the uh, previous card and I just stacked two white snowflakes together and now I'm adding the last one which is the pink one and that is the uh, same tonic paper I used for the sentiment in the first card and I'm just making sure that I have adhesive everywhere and that things will stick together nicely and like before I'm just doing that to add a bit of dimension and stability I guess to the uh, snowflake itself and again I use the uh, smart glue to stick these layers together and if you see any adhesive or anything sticking out just use your fingers and you'll be able to rub that away now I wanted to add a bit of color and subtle shine to the background 
So I used a Nuvo Mica Mist in pink and I grabbed this older mist I had from Tattered Angels and it's in silver. I just wanted a bit of shininess to the uh, background. I'm not sure if we can actually get the Tattered Angels mist but I will link mists or similar silver mists down below so you'll be able to find some if you are interested. Now it is quite a simple card as I mentioned before. So I use my Distress Oxides ink in Tattered Rose and I am just inking the edges with my foam tool. It doesn't add much colour but it does provide a little bit of framing a subtle depth to the edges which I really like. Really quick and easy way to add a bit of interest to any kind of background. And I'm using phone tape for the background on this card as well and I am using the one inch with tape and I'm just adding it so that it has tape all over or thereabouts. And now I'm just removing the backing and sticking the uh, pattern paper to the front of my card. There was a bit of misting on my table so I'm just wiping that away so things don't get too messy. And now I just have to add the snowflake to the front of my card and I'm using that same liquid glue from scrap.com to stick this down to the card front itself. And like I said you don't need much glue just make sure you're not applying too much pressure to the bottle because then you will get lots of glue. Just light pressure and you will get the amount that you need. And then I'm just taking that down, figuring out where it looks the best. And then just apply some pressure so that it adheres to the uh, card front. And now all I need is a sentiment to add to the front of my card and I am using the uh, sticker book from uh, scrapbook.com and I believe this one is called Peppermint Christmas. There are loads of sentiments, so basically my biggest headache was choosing one sentiment, not many. So you have a lot to choose from and I'm sure everyone will find something that they like. And I just had to go with Let It Snow. Thought it fits the uh, snowflake quite nicely. Now that is done, I want to add a bit of sparkliness to the card. So I'm using the same drops that I used on the first card and I'm just adding drops here and there in pink and then in clear. And this is basically just to add a bit of sparkliness to the front here and there. And I do love my new world drop so I used any excuse to add a bit of shininess to anything I can. So here are two Christmas cards that I made using these two dies. And don't forget to click the thumbs up if you liked it. And if you create anything Christmassy I would love to see so please tag me on social media and I would love to have a look at what you've been up to. So until next time, bye!